Now if you've been searching the internet you know that when you click on text some of them are hyperlinks and so when you click on it it takes you to another web page. What I want to do here is I want to create some hyperlinks in Excel. There's many different types of hyperlinks. You can create one that opens up another program here, not just Excel. So for example, if I have my customer ID here, and let's say that my front office is filling out this invoice, and they don't know what the customer ID is, but they have the customer's name. What I can do is I can turn this text into a hyperlink that when they click on it, it'll open up, let's say, another program here like Microsoft Word, and in Word I'll have a list of all my clients and their IDs. Then all I have to do is cross-reference that, look it up, and then punch in the number here. So to create a hyperlink, I can do it one of two ways. First of all, I want to click in the cell that I want to create the hyperlink on, and in this case the text, enter in the customer ID. And I want to come up here and click on the Insert tab, come to the Links group and click on Hyperlink, or when in doubt I can just right-click on that cell and come down here and left-click on Hyperlink. You get a pop-up window, and what I want to do is I want to be able to link this to my customer ID's document. As you can see, it's right there. Now, if this doesn't dump you right into the folder that you're looking for that has the program, the document, the workbook, or the database, you can always click on the drop-down arrow and browse through your computer and find the right folder, like the desktop. I look at my desktop, there's my exercise folder. Double-click on that and places me right in the folder. Customer IDs, that's the document I want to link it to. Now, before I go ahead and click OK, after I select it, I want to change the screen tip. In other words, right here, this is the text that's going to be displayed what you see right here, entering the customer ID. I can change it here or I can change it in the cell, but for right now I'm going to leave it and I want a screen tip. And What that does is when they hover over the link, it'll give them a little bit more information, a little pop-up note, what they call here as a screen tip. I'm going to click on it. it. Gives me a little box that I can go ahead and type in some additional text or information like... Now when I click OK, I've got the screen tip that's going to pop up when I hover over the link after it's created. So I've selected the document I want to link it to. It's down here in the address. Then click OK. Turns it into a hyperlink. Click off in a blank area and you can see there it is. It's underlined. So all I have to do is hover over it and I get my pop-up. If you're not sure what the customer ID is, then click this link or see your manager. You also, when you hover over it, you get a hand. That means that it's active. It's an active link. You can click on it. When I click on it, it opens up the document. Here's my Dreamforce customer IDs. I have over here all the customers and their corresponding IDs. When I find the right one, I could of course go ahead and click and drag to select it, right click on it to copy it, close out of the document, and come in here. And what I want to do is I want to come in the cell to paste the text. So I'll come up here in the formula bar, click and drag, and do Control V's and Victor to paste over it and then go ahead and hit enter. Now I'm running into a problem. This is, even though it's the customer ID, it's still linked. Now if I want to remove the link, I can always right click on it and come down here and remove the hyperlink. Or, same token, I can go ahead and edit the link, brings it back up, choose another document that I want to link it to instead of the customer's IDs down here, but click cancel and then just to simply remove it, like I said, just go ahead and right click and then left click on remove and it looks good. Now there are more ways to make hyperlinks. So for example, if I come up here and hit undo a couple of times, so I go back to where it says enter in customer ID and I right click and I go down to edit the hyperlink. How about instead of the address here that, that goes to a document on my computer, I go ahead and select it here, hit the delete key, and let's go to a web page, www.video. And as I start typing, it automatically fills in the full URL address, which is HTTP and then forward slash WW. And because I've already been to videotrainingpro.com, it automatically starts filling in the rest for me. So all I have to do is click at the end here and then click OK. So when I click on the link here, it actually will take me to videotrainingpro.com. And then when I'm finished, I can just close out to come back to my workbook. Another way that you can create links is also email links. So for my contact manager, if they have any questions, I can turn this into an email link. When they click on it, it'll open up their email program, which hopefully is Microsoft Outlook 2007. So to do that, just go ahead and right click on it, come down to click on hyperlink. And what we want to do is you want to create an email address. Click on that. And then up here where it says email address, just start typing in the email address. When you start typing, it's going to add, like for example, when I start typing K, it adds the mail to colon, which is actually HTML programming. You don't want to come back here and delete all that. You want to have the mail to colon in there. So again, K at dream for, and then you can have the subject heading in there. So anytime they click on it, you could say 
So what's going to happen is, is when I click OK, it's going to turn this into a hyperlink. When I click on that, it's actually going to open up my Outlook 2007 address to Kurt at Dreamforce.us with the subject heading problem with creating an invoice. So I click OK, click off in a blank area to see it. The cell's not long enough, so it's cut off. Contact Manage, of course, click on the link, and you can see pulls up my Microsoft Outlook 2007 with the address to me, and then also the subject problems with creating invoice, then I can go ahead and just type away anything that I have questions on about the invoice, and then when I'm finished, just go ahead and click send, and it sends it right off to the manager. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and not save it. And as you recall, if the text is cut off, then you probably want to shrink the font of the text so it fits within the cell here. So come up on the Home tab, and then maybe change that to size 8 and hit Enter so it fits snugly within the cell. Now again, if you need to make changes here, and in this case, you want to be able to change it from Contact Manager to just Manager, you can't click in the cell to change the text. There's only one of two ways you can do it, basically, is to either come up here after you use your arrow keys, maybe to get to the cell, and you have to use your arrow keys, because again, if you click on the cell, it's going to open up that hyperlink, right? Or you can right-click on the cell, like let me come over here and right-click on the cell, and then just come up here after I right-clicked on it into the formula bar, and then I can delete the text up here, make some changes, and just hit enter. That way I don't activate the hyperlink. The other way of doing it is simply right-clicking on the hyperlink and, of course, editing the hyperlink. And then up here, you know, typing in what you want to display. And then click OK. And it's not just text either. You can actually click on logos or objects, right-click on them, and turn those into hyperlinks as well. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly, and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.